controls the power, it means that one person controls the wealth. So if Mr. Museveni controls mm. all the wealth of Uganda and one needs a lot of wealth, one needs a lot of money mm. to get into a political office, it means that Mr. Museveni will have a lot of influence on who gets into a political office. Yeah. Because he controls the wealth and you need a lot of wealth to get into a political position. These are, these are things that we must understand in order to understand not just what is going on in FDC, but what is going on in the politics in the country. That uh, you have commercialized politics in the midst of gross impoverished population because the population does not control wealth. Mm. So you have a very poor population, you have commercialized the politics, and you have the controller of the wealth. That means that most people who will be in politics will be controlled by the controller of wealth. Mm. That is one thing that uh, I, I, I want to underscore. And this is regardless of who is leading FDC, who is doing what, whoever plays politics within that kind of uh, system is bound to have uh, challenges if they don't cooperate with the controller of wealth. Hold it there, Doctor, as we get um, a local interpretation of what you're trying to say and so that our people, our old women in the village, get to understand this in detail. Uh, Doctor Umu. Akotongo Aijulon. Enerkea, Papa. Julio Osupana. Okay. Mm. Uh, getting a sea uh, Amalan, Malatang a sea Tungalu or Teso, Ido Abu Meso Tamabe, a Rai Teso or Reke, Ido Tegelikina, Eponelo, Ijaunere, Arijaunanata, Iteso, Nies, Nini, Nese, Nakim Tingesi, uh, Ejai, Akodakina, and Ipol, Kede Tungalu or Teso. Abu Nesi. Uh, e okoda keke ner kede no ageti e jakaito chole alimu ido obale be uh, a aparsha kaisa ol ukarli lukumini yare kede idope abu ngese obu tesone neda beraponi ikama renges aitapas aitukurian konye jangunda apotitu ngaluo teso ito dia sakeche amen uh, nejai ngesi kede ne aja au mshono wa presidenti toskesi nuda poto ina isi teso ata kanon kwa pe aboist na uh, itegelekena uh, balangese be ebunit lolo ngesi ne bobo ai mor keda oni itungalu oteso akiron weta kanunete otoma akwa poko no uganda kachutino inoi epate lo, lo FTC. Uh, Ishala mikiti ngesi radio lo veritas Anuai nae ngesa rereng Na abu nere apesiki ntungalu oteso Akironwe utasata kanuno o, 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 Uganda Kede noe noe pate e, Jasi kwa pa ni nuiswa masi yoto mopate ya balangesi Upate lo FDC uh, Keda Uganda Abu ngeso temabe koleje o radio Abu ngesi o limuta Akironwe kamanara kede isirigin Mm. Ido kachuti no ino isirigin lu e baka ibe lu ipuakona. Date mane. Isirigin lu ipuakona. Ido abu ngeso nya ebe mamerai akiro no isirigin nu itutoli kinto sa aswam na FDC bon. Konye aswam na o Uganda arae ae ngarenikin oto makiro no politics. Abu ngeso tema lolo um, inero ninu kamana rakede isirigin oto ma Kero nwa politics arai nwa inga renikin. Uh, Erai bore nepol de e nyara. Mame mwakoto aite uh, 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 upate alo FDC bond. Mm. Um, Ebalangesi oto mwine rikiebe. Aduchu kupane aparashano aloma re, o politics. 
eraibore ni etachio isirigini luikiara. Kwenye muroni laela ara ilo la ngaleu. Elosi ake jae bata ake jema meti sirigini. Kwenye ijolo ilomari atoma politics kwa pena uh, doktorati na memba na parliament. E, minimum requirement are asho mane koto ijo jatatari. E baka hivi ya tukoto na kanyita hape. Ido e muron le re professional. Etachi sirigini luikota hii. Kidioko. So. Ido e buniti do ngesi ne. Atama rebe. E pate lo FDC. Apono sipoke na hii. Na sorita inyaku na pedori. Aneja lui tingitos. Lui mudu. Ainyaku nuneji itunga. Mm. Ido a pedori ngin. Ngesa hii. Ai cholongi tarai arau tulu epolo kinto sa kiri antu na Uganda. Neda kupani mami tunga lua Uganda ya tatarikede apedori ngini. Ai cholongi tarai ai pugati ara polo kinto kiri antu na, na akwa kuoko. Abu ngeso temabe emu alimu areko to emyesi dae ngareni kini tunga. Mami pedo ralemu ni milioni ni uni lekota anwe nomination. Yeah. Ido bobe balangesi de e campaign kere e koto ne petai isirigin lui kidio kakeri milioni na kwa takai. Akespolo be loichan kare de jasi apele keneta nwe joka mame pedori uh, ai ngare niki. Do ipe dojo alo marito mo politics ngon. Ijadi isirigin ni deleta ya angena itu ngalui cholo ngitosa kiri antu na Uganda. Ina ino ji milioni na kwa tare ilo marijo parliament. Ido itunga lichulo ngito singesi ya kaleke a president Museveni. Mm. Ngesi etunga na lichulo ngita kirian. Do ngesi seu ni ingaibo aneo teso ekoto loto parliament. Na ara ikuwa na raune politics. Le seo ito soma ete lwe jaske di sirigi. So ngunu kesa kiro nu ebuni tingesa emor. Ido edis tunganan ke religia politics. Kopaan arai managing e pate. Ujo system lo kopaan e jai. Ebe ita tere ikin ke da kironu isirigi. So ekoto luweja astoma apugan arau upate. Acho ike na noi. Oma miteo be ngaibo ingare ni kite pate. Na arai kere across. Kere ingare no kolu ipate. Ah. Mm. Uh, Ejaasi etereke na keda ation sina isiri gino toma wakwa po wako na Uganda. Yalama. Yama no honobo ewumo nation of politics um, in the country. And the Forum for Democratic Change as a party has not been exceptional in this. And um, you are said to have received 300 million shillings from the honobo Nanda Ramakwazi for reasons best known to him and why he got the money to you. And you quickly followed up and got quick intelligence information that this money was from a suspicious source. Can you tell us about that? Uh, we may lose the main point if we focus on the small detail. Mm. Let us first understand where all this comes from. Clearly, then the detail will fall in place. Make us understand. So, first of all, I told you that elections require a lot of money. And that is at an individual level for the candidate, but also for the party. Mm. Because the population is poor, the population also depends on the party to help them raise money. True. Uh, because our people cannot even pay nomination fee, they expect the party to get money to nominate them. <laughs> Parties are supposed to run ordinarily like uh, faith-based organizations, like religious institutions, with contributions from members. which they are supposed to be run by the believers. Mm. But in this case, the believers are very poor, and that the same goes on to, for the for the religious organizations. Yeah. They, 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 that's how even the churches have become captured. Because the believers cannot build a church. If they have to build a church, they must uh, kneel before the one who controls the money <laughs> in the country, the one who captured control of the money. Mm. So 
we have uh, a, a, a politics captured by that money. But secondly, it's not just money, it is also the militarization. So even when you have your own money, you had the honorable Bongishke here talking about what was going on in their turn by election here. Yeah. Once there is any election, you would be forgiven to think that uh, it's an outbreak of war. Mm. You will see armored vehicles and the deployment of soldiers and policemen and their DUs and all kinds of things all over the place. The militarization of politics. Whose intention is to scare the voters or even to uh, force them <laughs> to do what the controller of those forces wants. And, the, and so, increasingly people know that even if I invest my 500 million, they will also come with guns and declare somebody else. So if I want my investment to have a chance of giving me uh, some return of, of getting good results out of my investment, I also need to talk well to the controller of the of the of the forces of the the one who, the military the, the one who controls the militarization of of, of politics. Mm. So increasingly, uh, as a result of militarization, as a result of commercialization, as a result of controlling all institutions of state, even when you run to court that I have been unfairly treated, you'll find the same person who captured the country sitting behind the bench of the judge. The one you run away from, you find the same person in the court. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so now it means that uh, if you are to survive in the politics, eventually you must surrender to that person mm. who controls money, who controls the military, who controls the institutions. And unfortunately, I must say that many of our uh, leaders, leaders of the struggle for liberation of the country from the other one who captured it, mm. <laughs> end up becoming compromised by the same person who captured the country. And this is all over the country, all over the political organizations. It's not just FDC. I'm talking about the structure of politics. Yeah. The structure of our politics is such that if you want to have a room to play within the politics, you will find it extremely difficult if you don't have huge amounts of money, if you don't have protection from the military, if you don't have institutional support. Mm. And uh, therefore, the FDC, which set out to end the capture of our country, must think through how it does that against those challenges. How do we take power? from Mr. Museveni, who controls money, who controls military, who controls all institutions? How do we take power from his hands back to the people? I am afraid 